All right, today is the day I'll be working on an English video once again, as I've promised to a minor group of my audience. I do hope it will grow over time. It is sort of a new start, and I'm using a new microphone as well. This is the brand new Sony W2BT. There'll actually be a vlog slash sound test section later in this video. This video is recorded entirely on the W2BT anyway. And now Sony's actually released two new microphones, the W2BT and the LV1. We'll be covering the LV1 a little bit more on the second half of the video. It's basically a wired clip mic with a 360 degrees clip and stereo sound pickup with, of course, high quality sound audio. More on that later. So the W2BT, a wireless microphone, it isn't necessarily a completely new idea, but Sony is putting some great effort to deliver a high quality one this time around. It promises high sound quality, stable communication and convenient ease of use. So before we dive right into the audio quality, let's take a deeper look from maybe the technological point of view. From the outside, it's matte black, simply practical and low-key professional looking. On the receiver side, there is a hot shoe mount, as well as a mic out, a 3.5mm headphone jack, in case your camera doesn't support MI shoe. And there we've got a micro USB port covered by a cover as well. They could have used USB Type-C, honestly, but at least we don't have to rush for batteries as we can always charge it while on the go. If you ever have to, thanks to the Honshu interface, it actually takes battery from your camera if you're using an APS-C or full-frame camera. Under that circumstances, the battery life can actually go up to 18 hours, 3 hours if it's a smaller camera like the ZV-1. I doubt if they have the luxury to spare any battery juice to the mic at all anyway. And on the other side of the receiver, now it's really interesting that, as you can see there, there is a mic, mix and receiver switcher. It actually supports three recording modes, either the mic, the receiver only, and a mix of them. It basically means not only does it record audio from the mic side, like any other mics do, but also from the receiver side as well. Choosing mic only will be something like what I'm doing right now, recording my voice only. Well, choosing receiver side will be the one on the camera and finally mix will be a mix of them. It will be extra useful if you're doing a, maybe, let's say, an interview. So this is the microphone on the receiver side. And this is how it sounds like when I'm using the receiver mode for the mix mode. So I'm basically using both the microphone on the receiver here and the one there on the microphone side. We've also got a digital or analog switcher. It's actually one of the W2BT's strong points. If you have a recent Sony camera like me, a mid to high-end one at least, including the Alpha 1, Alpha 9 II, Alpha 7R4, Alpha 7S Mark III and the Alpha 7C, by mounting the receiver onto the MI shoe here, the mic records my voice and then it transmits the data into the receiver. The receiver transmits the data into the camera directly, digitally. It doesn't involve any digital to analog translation, which means no noise and no data loss. As you can imagine, the sound quality will be much higher, technically. For cameras which doesn't support digital audio input, we can always switch the button to analog. And for those who don't have a camera which supports the MI shoe interface, there you go, the 3.5mm cable. Now, on the receiver side, first of all, a windscreen. We'll all hear how it performs in a bit. But here we've got a micro USB port covered by a cover as well, and the ATT selection from 0 decibel, 10 and 20 and a on and off switch. In addition on the back, it is the clip itself. It clips. We can actually mount this thing onto the clip as well. So it sort of gives the mic some sort of an angle, tilting upward. So we can also put it onto a table, use it as a podcast mic of some sort. Last but not least, it implemented Bluetooth 5.0 technology. It promises a stable and up to 200 meters connection. Anyway, now shall we just take the mic outside and test it out? 
of course, the audio sound quality and connection stability as well. Let's go. <laughs> so we are actually heading to the Tycoon, which is like a central police station in the past, and a Victoria prison as well. It's up there. Just imagine the past. The wheels are gonna be really bumpy. Hong Kongers must know it very well and go here a lot, but not for outsiders, I believe. Columns and arches, they sort of mimicked it. Just to make sure the mic is on this time around. Let me see the shot again, the power of the A7C. There is one thing about historical buildings here in Hong Kong which I found interesting. It's like they made everything so new, like the painting and the woods, just like new. There is another strong point for this mic is that it can actually receive signals from away from 200 meters, I believe, which um, my voice is still clear from this distance and with the windows blocking my voice. We're back. So long story short, if you have a camera which supports the MI shoe interface, I do think you could consider purchasing the W2BT just because of the completely cableless experience. As the microphone here is so close to my throat, of course my mouth as well, it actually delivers a really crisp voice with some depth. Thanks to the windscreen, my voice is super crisp and clear, while the city noise and background is relatively quiet, if I can say that, despite I was recording this entire video around Central, which is the busiest part of Hong Kong. Considering the price, the overall design and the technology behind it, as well as the audio quality of course, Sony has definitely nailed it this time around. Alright, if you're still here, now we've come to the more affordable and basic microphone. It's basically a wired microphone the ECM LV1. It comes with a windscreen as well. After removing that, we can see a stereo label here and LR. So yes, it does support stereo sound pickup from all directions, especially with the 360 degrees clip. Just imagine, no matter how you clip onto your shirt or t-shirt or whatever, whatever you're wearing, there will be always at least one microphone pointing your mouth. We'll now test out the audio quality of this mic as well. With a one meter cord, this is the maximum length or distance I can get on a 24 millimeters lens just to check out how it sounds like if it's recording some other sounds other than voice. It totally depends on the speaker and or earphones you're using and it also depends on my speaker as well. But um, the audio quality is definitely reliable, crisp and clear voice. The audio quality is not bad at all, but due to the one meter length of the cord, it will be a perfect microphone for 
online conference, it's really convenient that it takes a battery directly from your camera, that it doesn't use up much battery at all. Ultimately, however, if you're looking for maximum freedom, the W2BT is definitely the one you should go for. Well, for more info regarding the two new microphones, you guys can always check out the official website from the link down below. So yeah, this is the end of my video today. Hope you all enjoyed and see you guys next time.